I'll be uh, streaming Final Fantasy XIV and uh, we'll be starting with Nemani Takara as uh, my character and we'll be going through the whole uh, Realm of Born, then I believe Heaven Sword, then Stormblood and all out to Pedabrings Yeah. I might make some changes to the UI uh, a little later. Yeah. I'm wearing now. That's fine. That's all fine. Maybe that? Yeah, that's so fine. Have that all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, carry on. Okay, no pick on how to move target. Uh, yeah, pick on self as well. <coughs> <coughs> I'll be able to do this. Oh, I always gotta do that. Would that be alright though? Anyway. Anyway. Setting right. Okay. Uh. Oh, wow. Are you fine? You alright? Mm. Yeah, 
goes to one side. Oh, that's not too bad. Too bad. They all be on. Okay. okay. So if I made it as this, everything will be on here. Yep, move. Just play it by um yeah why not? Uh I do the thing this is duty and fun. So there's my mini map. Yep. Currently I'm getting encoding overloaded for the strange reason. But I don't see any issues. So it's only point three FPS. Only forty eight. My CPU is fine. Okay, my graphics card is very high, ninety-nine percent. Music. Okay. Maybe I want to do lower graphics on here. So it's pretty fine, really. Um, we don't need this. Better now. Yeah. Load it down a bit. Oh, 
Fall. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad now. So hopefully OBS should be fine. Yeah. It's on uh, 60 frames per second now. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm gonna keep that. Fast up and
Yeah, we found. And then... Yeah. Very fast to do that. That's all one. There we go. The first free be be shared. Nothing mm. done.
think there's one thing that I'm on the UI thing. Marine pot. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's hot layout. Here. Oh, yeah, God. That's a thing. I can go Just move that over there This one over here. Uh, 
that one. Pet hop up. Hmm. I just plug it. Put that there. And Gil can go. Let's see how that goes. Explain to anyone with eyes that you don't know your way around. Let you go wandering off down the nearest dark alley. You are certain to get mugged worse, and I don't want that on my conscience. So before you do anything else, you want to head over to the quicksand and speak with Momodi. He is a master of vengeance guild and can set you on a rock path. Just take those steps over yonder and pass through on the double. You'll find her inside. And that's as much as you're getting for free. Good luck with the adventuring adventure. Why well, hello there, who might you be? If you're looking to join the Adventurers Guild, you've come to the right place. My name is Moody and I own his fine establishment, if it please you. I also manage the Adventurers Guild here in the Old Hall. You might say that 
you're looking after green offenders like yourself in modification. Any and lucky for you that is that it is. Without someone like me to steer you, you right, you're spinning upon yourself out in the middle of now corrupting business you don't understand. Like our conflict with the Amada, for some they've been plaguing the culture for night on all forever now. Then there's the Guardian Empire. No one can say if you're fighting these days. I knew that they are. Aye, the people drink and make merry. But beneath it all, there's worry, worry, and a lingering feeling of loss. And little wonder, it scarce been five years since the lesser moon cracked open like a giant egg. Releasing an abomination intent of turning the realm into an ape hell. So much was lost in the blink of an eye, just like the end of the world had come at last. But then things begin to get foggy. Everyone's got their own version of what happened, and it's some of them two or three. You'd think people would remember something like that. But the fact is, they don't. Never does. There is one thing the survivors agree on, though. They have part played by a band of people who laid down the lives for the realm that was in their own. They fought valiantly, and like so many others, they re never returned. These worth remembering, I'm sure you agree. It's just a shame our recollections of those brave heroes are just are as jumbled as those of the calamity itself. Whenever we try to call their faces to mind, it's like they're standing between us and the midday sun, permanently silhouetted. I'll bet that sounds poetic to you, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's bloody infuriating. But even if we can't remember them, not let them be forgotten and so we call them the warriors of light and they will forever stand as a shining sun in the deep. That's why I welcome new arrivals of the crystals of our fair city. What I ask is that you lend a helping hand and try to keep old art in a better state than you found her. If you can promise that, I'll be happy to let you join the guild. Sure. Alright then, as a promise is a promise now. I'm counting on your help to put the past behind us. We need people working and spending and preparing like the old days. And the happy and prosperous old dog means more business for the quit stand too. Any road, let's make this official. Go ahead and write your name in the register, near as you can. Lee Takara. Well, ain't that a charming name? Just rolls off the tongue. Alright, Miss Takara. On behalf of the Finchers Guild, I officially. Please sir, be merciful. Twelve as the witness, I swear to you, I'll bring you your money. In the A's, it is said that even a merciful God be joined to vengeance if Christ bless me. Be grateful you were given a false chance to offend. You two, attend to this scum. No, please, mercy. Oh, well, ain't that a sorry sight, not an uncommon one, if I'm honest. Don't worry though, if you work hard, I doubt you'll end up like him. Just the same if you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another. Pay me a visit, just don't go bothering me every time you stub your play toe. Alright? <laughs> oh dear. 
Thus, I do enjoy hearing a lady muse on the many manhoods of her acquaintance from time to time. Anyways, welcome to Alda, the money. Take a moment to catch your breath, and I'll teach you a little bit, a little about our fair city. Before you go charging off to find your fortune, I have a few basic tasks I'd like to perform so as to help you get to know the place. First of all, I want you to visit the Aphrite Plaza. To get there, head west from here till you reach Emerald Avenue and look to the north. You should see a giant floating crystal called an Aphrite. If it weren't for Aphrites travelling around your Eorzea, would be a damn sight more troublesome than it is. Plus, you still need to tune with them before you can use them. So be sure to do that with one in the puzzle. Do you ever attune with an A5 before? No money. If not, just lay your hand on the thing. You see what I mean. When you've done that, I want you to pay a visit to the Gladiator's Guild over at the Coliseum. Assuming that sword ain't just for show, you might just consider training it. And finally, I want you to visit the Sapphire Avenue exchange over on the Sector Fowl. Just from all across Eorzea and beyond, turn up there every day. You'll have no trouble finding armor, weapons, or anything else a fledgling adventurer like yourself might need. You might say that everything's for sale here in Melda, as long as you've got the deal. Just make sure you don't pay more than your no money. There's plenty as one scruffle to swindle unsuspecting foreigners like yourself, especially if they think no one's looking out for their best interests. Which is why I'm giving you this letter. When you visit the exchange, find a gentleman named Cesaroga and give it to him. He'll be happy to tell you about the markets once he's read it. In short then, visit Avrite Plaza, the Gladiator's Guild and the Sapphire Avenue exchange. Simple. Oh, but before you go, a word of advice for oh, there's more than a few unsavory characters out there. Who will try to take advantage of you. There are also some with honest to goodness problems who you should consider offering a helping hand to. A lot of folk are lured to this city by the promise of wealth and power. What many of them fail to realise is that instead of chasing after you, the moment they get here they ought to be making friends. They have been known that you are willing to give as much as you get opportunities will come your way. Speaking of which, you should speak with the smith over yonder. Those lads always have some good advice for up and coming adventures. Otherwise, that's about it for me. It's past time we get going. Oh, and let me know when you've finished that. Finished for you. That way, I won't spend my days brewing that. Your down to your small clothes without your to your name. Greetings, I am one of the smiths at these local fires and forger of creatures. As a dedicated member of Guild, I have been trusted with the task of providing assistance to new adventurers. 
I see you, uh, but recently taken up a thin food mentor. The possibility of stretching out before you must be positively daunting. In the future's guild, we see new adventures as vision heroes. You are our champions of tomorrow. Uh, nascent stars of limitless potential. My fellow Smiths and I are here to provide you guidance for the guild prospering in a career of veteran adventures. We will have to be happy to share with your with you their accommodative wisdom. You can recognize the helpful men and women by their title mentor. Mentors stand ready to advise you on any aspect of adventuring. They have hundreds of quests under their belts and will likely have a solution for whatever dilemma might be causing you trouble. A mentor may even offer to accompany you on your adventures. I highly recommend that you take on mentors aid to enrich your experiences in your yours or yours are do not hesitate to ask me if you would like to know more. There. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I've already done all that, so... Gotta take that A for right. Oh, Venture, might you have come at the behest of Miss Modi of the Quicksand? Excellent, which brings us to the matter of, of the tune fee. There will be 100,000 guild, if you please, madam. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> but apologies, but I do so relish an opportunity to make that guess. The look in your face was absolutely priceless. Uh, but the fact that you were so easily deceived differs from me that you are unfamiliar with the use of a Allow me to explain. These crystalline agglomerations tap into a energies and are primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. By chance you have heard of return and teleport, or these transportation spells make direct use of the Aetherites and they connect them to the flow of, of ether. Given that there is an Aetherite in almost every corner of Eorzea, any adventurer with a mind to explore the realm will wish to seek out and train himself to each and every one. But even if you have no intention of wandering beyond the alternate borders, it would be prudent for you to attune yourself to any Aetherites you encounter from now on. I pray you found that informative. If you wish to learn more about Aetherites or transportation magic, I should be happy to answer your questions. So I've now learned the return spell. Which is one? Can't teleport yet. Oh yeah, there should be one we add. That's not right. There we go. Uh general number of right. Yeah, I'm gonna go there.
But that's only if I start um, doing my own gear, which I probably won't. But yeah, anyway. Um, no point having that. Uh, I can add you. No, we could. I'm just going to wait to get over here. Um, I was over there. Doing what was easy to do, uh, day. Um, that's new game for us. You can't, I can't do it yet. That's the trust system that we aim to bring. Um, that we done later. Go through here first and carry me down there in the store. So, a dream to the. Oh, did new newly come up in her? Of course, yes. Um, this the Roger. No, this the Roger. What can I do for you? Uh, would you have me teach you the ways of the life? Yes. Very wise. As for a fee, what? You expect me to do it for free? Surely, you guess. My dear Fincher, when you ask them out on for a favour, you should at least try to make it. Judging by your garb, I rather doubt you could afford my services. But the fact you offer nothing is love. Mistress Momodi instructed you to seek me out, did she? <laughs> Consider yourself fortunate to have such influential friends. I shall be brief and you shall be attentive. You stand in the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, the busiest and most profitable marketplace in the Sultanate. Being a financially situated in relation to the other states, Aldar's markets have ever served as both the literal and figurative centers of in commerce. All the great overland trade routes lead to our city, and the majority of maritime trade between Pulverbrand and Aldenard passes through our ports. Because of this, countless companies and consortia have 
person order as their base of operation. They see to it that this marketplace is awash with merchants and money lenders day and night. Anything a man could ever desire can be purchased here, provided as he has sufficient funds. Surely there is something you seek, Avenger. A deadlier sword, perhaps? A shinier trinket? Both it is you want, the exchange we will have it. To the north, we will find merchants, accessories, abilities, and crafting materials. And to the south, you will find weapons, tools, and the dominant of other useful items for sale. Seek out a particular merchant or browse to a apart content, but do try to remain aloof. Should you find something that piques your interest, decisions made in the heat of the moment are usually unwise, especially where coin is concerned. <laughs> That is all the complimentary aid you shall have from me, and far too much for my taste. My regards to Momodi, now off with you. Right, here we go. The target it is, and uh, I'm going to tune for this first. Should be over here as well. I'm going to do this before I got to get the skill.
I'm gonna change this one and then get it by the job. One more, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, one more. Hmm. Pretty sure I'll change to all of them. Wavers? Do I not hit a wave here one? No. Huh. Guess I'll do that one. Um later. Yeah. Then the minus at least. Huh, weird. What did? Welcome to the Cavalier Skill, friend. Tell me, are you new to the fields of Mortal Kombat? Well, whether you are or not, you need to pass. If you take your place in these hollowed holes, you must be willing and ready to undergo the most rigorous training. You must endure pats and bruises beyond counting, and life has not got far worse. A daunting prospect, I can see. But there is no other way for me to take to the blood sands one day. And why wouldn't you? Coliseum is the only, the most celebrated place of public entertainment in all order. Where else could a poor man amass a fortune so fast to one day allow him to claim his seat on the syndicate? Ah, uh, there is not an old and alive, isn't this wife, but it's a self made man. And there is no truer, truer embodiment of this than the player who wins rookies and fame with his sword. Throughout its long and storied history, this guild has nurtured countless champions. Our training methods are second to none, and our members ever strive to develop new techniques. If you desire true glory to fight and triumph, Miss the roar of 10,000 voices, then this is where you belong, adventurer. Think of it, think of your legacy, and if your soul stirs, join us. What would it be? Will you rise above the masses and your name in legend? Sign yourself though to mid 
PV and die in obscurity. John the Guardian skill? Yes. A decision you shall regret. One moment, make way for the money packer. Fresh meat coming through. Now then, before your involvement can be considered complete, you must present yourself to First Sword Miller. Seek her out and obtain her approval. You know what that was anyway? That was only that one. It's gonna be too easy to ask. I I heard the Litsu So you're in the money Takara. This is a gift strong name. On behalf of the Gladiators Guild, allow me to welcome you. I am Miller, Guild Master here. So you wish to study our arts? I think it's probably um Myla. Myla, Miller, Myla. So Myla. So you wish to study our arts? Then you have uh, your reasons for choosing the sword or other weapons. Don't actually think it's easiest to learn. A sword is a simple weapon, but to wield a blade, well, it's anything but simple. For every Colosseum champion to emerge from our ranks, there have been countless disappointments we failed to achieve greatness. Bear that in mind before you answer me, no money. But I do not ask this question. Have you the strength to live by the sword and if it be your fate, die by it? Have you the strength to live by the sword? Yeah. Then welcome, Gladia, to your new home. Let's not waste time, shall we? I will guard your aptitude for the sword. Just outside the gates of Oda, you will find plenty of mummies, bonnets, and shoes. So you free your feet and return here for anything. It's a simple task, but essential to your training nonetheless. Now go. Okay. Before I do that, I'm going to go to Mamodi. Finish, close the home quest. Hey, I'm not the movie. Uh, right, which one would be the closest to the uh, money? Uh, there we go. And then let's jump to the Weavers Guild, the uh, Aphrite or Aphanet. Oh, wait. I don't know why I didn't. Tune to it. Oh, I did. Guess not. Huh. Yeah, we tune to yourself to all the Aethernet shards in order the Gate of Nell and the Gate of Power, the Gate of the Planner. And the airship landing are now accessible as Aethernet destinations. Ventures good. I wish you had tour the city, no money. Get lost, did you? Alright, well, Ardor's a big place, lots of, lots to see and do, but wandering around, obviously, don't pay the bills. If you're serious about making a living here, you need to remember where things are. So when you go exploring, explore like you got a purpose, eh? Alright then, 
All that's left is for you to work hard, make money, and spend it here at the quicksand. So I gotta wait till I'm um, level. Level 4. Skills. Yeah, I'll put that there. For now. I'll put him on the bottom. There we go. I think it was now this way. Oh. And I can use your turn, I won't say that. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, she was playing for a guy that was killed. Going back more money. I take it you've dispatched the base and we're base. Rest assured there will be far greater changes. If you wish to mark the sword, you must take yourself against a wide variety of foes. To this end, sent to you is hunt hunting lock. It contains information on creatures I can back and bring. You will doubtless gain a valuable spoon. If you seek out and slay them, it is only with such practice that you will recognize and eliminate the species in your technique. Your training under me shall continue once you have it so snugly in your hand that you cannot imagine holding all else until then the money. The next gladiator quest with Viola from region level 5. Let's put any food items on this side. Um, I think I might leave the fire quest. Or uh, other classes. I think it's just by So, pretty lady buffs
Turn the cat to the... I don't know. Yeah, uh, Right, a fight system. Oh, the power effects. There's an attack of a point save a hundred points nearby enemy. So, I'm gonna put that. There. So that's what it looks like. Huh.
Mr. Simon Oh, youngling, how are you finding uh, older then? Got your bearings about you yet? If so, may I have this time you think you'd be on the city? Busting the streets of older are one thing, but the world old and then that's another altogether. I know Blake and my parents are speaking to, and hear you. Name of Officer, you'll find him over at Older Dispatch Yard. No out your house some work for you. It is fresh yards over in Central Fanland. Just head out the door across the hill hall and you'll see the gate of Nod staring right back at you. Pass through it and head east. You'll come upon it for long. There is dangers beyond the wall. More than I can get get to camp. Nothing too terrible mind you, but feisty Enough attack if you go near. Don't say nobody cared enough for you.
Well, you certainly live the part of an adventure, my friend. Might you be the good soul or my idea if I me to this bit? And Papa Chan, station master of the Tampa Dispatch Yard. An empty title, I assure you. I truly am no more than a tired person in these final, final years in quiet and solitude. Twelve so know there have been plenty of both these last five years since the county struck. The devastation was fast. Yet now, who are dams work together do not now our power to build what was laid to ruin. By the sweat of our brows and the love of our home, we have rebuilt old odds to the grandeur and majesty that you see today. The railways which run through the dispatch yard too were born of the noble efforts of the great many souls. But there is still much work to be done. The wounds left by the calamity deep isolated areas beyond the lines of supply rain and there are places yet wanting for relief and restoration. Hold on is the aid of you and your brethren friend. In fact never has our need been more dear. Which brings me to the point I suppose I do believe I may have some work suited to one of your ability. Since you've come all this way, perhaps you can form a, an errand for me. It just so happens a number of sentries have been sent to guard the area. A dispatch to the dispatch yard, as it were. They have been far away from the shade and feather beds of the city. The hot days and cold nights can play hells on the mind and body out here. It, it isn't much, but Go and give these twilight books. I find comfort food it always helps when I feel like you know myself. And lovely. Madam, I'm going to have to ask you to put the pets on the ground and place your hands above your head. Ready? Say in name of business, a twilight pencil from Puppetan? Give me. You can say this new pose has my nails in the fist. I I'm terribly sorry for that. Um, yes, well, you may rest assured that the dispatch yard is safe so long as I stand. Please give public term my thanks and tell him that I only wish I could have paid a favour. Twelve saved me. Scorching days, freezing nights, this place will be the end of me. A twilight pretzel? Don't mind if I do. Ah, uh, now that's a refreshing goddamn pretzel. I feel we're born. Some funk there, here's some funk there. Me from Pub Fan, 
a Twilight Pretzel, my favourite. How did he know? Can I buy it on an MT Summit? No. Actually, I can buy it on any summit. That's why you could say I have no summit for fighting. Hmm, okay. Okay then. You returned, and we both deal with your pretzels, I see. Tell me, have our uh, Sultan Swan sentries? Do they have anything to report? Anything at all? What? Nothing? Are you sure? Uh, I. Oh. Oh dear. Take this for your travels then. In the same moment, this is more I would ask of you. No money. I just, I have just this moment. No, no. The time for concealment is past. The truth is, even before I actually developed those pretzels, I was privy to some most settling news, which is the real reason I sent you to meet those Sultan's. A young noble woman for a very prestigious family has right. and I have been ordered to see her to save the set. The solar swan you met earlier are assistant with the search, and as it seems, they have found no trace of her. I apologize for not being frank with you from the start, but we must proceed with caution to word of her disappearance is read. I fear others with less honourable motives may join the fun. And should we allow her to come to any harm, not even a hundred beheadings would be punishment enough. That cannot happen, the money. It must not. I need you to help me find her. Praise as well, I knew I could count on you. I've instructed the others to expand the search for, but Planet Land is fast and there are only so many of us. The young noble woman's name is Laura. I want you to go south and look for her in the vicinity of the Sultan Tree. Good luck. Well, first, I'm going to go to the Gladiators Guild. Uh, I think. Hmm. Actually, no, I'll do this one actually. Kill off five. Not too bad. And so it reaches level six. And then I'll do level five. Um, press. Oh, Sultan Tree. We are about to enter an instance battle. Instance battles only occurred during certain crisis. Take a moment to read information displayed in the active cup window before answering the jury. If you are above the maximum and allowed to be seen as follows. So uh, since I'm only level 7, I won't be seeing the whole way. So, proceed. Oh, 
Sultan Tree, hallowed spirit of my line, forgive my weakness. My failings have cost us dear. Show yourself! <sighs> As you command, O oh Lilira. Forgive my selfish desire to assure your welfare. I don't recall requesting an escort. Simply pretend we never met and continue on your way. <laughs> we both know I can do no such thing. It isn't safe for you here alone. It isn't safe for anyone. Not with this etheric disturbance. It's as though the dead are watching us. And I'd prefer not to join them, if it's all the same to you. Ah, you must be the one that Papa Sean mentioned. Congratulations on finding our elusive young charge. You'll have to forgive her impetuousness. What she lacks in discipline, she makes up for in stubbornness. You should return with us. The station master will be eager to thank Lady Lilira's protector in person. Alas, the station master will have to wait. Dear Lilira, for my sake, please stay out of harm's way. As for you, dear friend, for Lilira's sake, please stay in harm's way.
And that's uh, very first crisp. Fine. Crystal Bearer. I am Hyden, all made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging in the end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. By thy deeds, Shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee? Only believe, for the light liveth in thy heart. Ah, coming around now. Would you mind telling me what that was? Hmm. If I only knew. A denizen of the void at any rate. The void sent? Yeah, but how? The question isn't how, but who. We're not dealing with bookless bandits.
Don't suppose the answer came to you in a dream? No sooner did you fell the beast than you fell asleep. Too much ether, no doubt. Interesting. I hadn't considered the crystal. But of course, this changes everything. Hmm? Oh, just thinking aloud. At any rate, we haven't a moment to spare. I must return and report this at once. I leave Lady Lilira in your capable hands. How dare you pass me about like a swaddled babe? I shall return and tell them myself. As you wish. Your impetuousness. I suspect we shall meet again before long. Until then, do try and stay awake. Only gods you sent. You had us so worried. You didn't realize what you did. her grace, the Sultan now will be beside herself with grief. And so would her subjects. I dare say that is weeping in the street. But I've already given you tools to make a public and you and the people of our Please, you're not to say such things, you will find it, I swear to you. It is not a place to make demands, my, my lady. But I beg you, please stay out of harm's way. I apologize for causing you undue worry, Papa Shan. I shall refrain from traveling unescorted in future. I cannot thank you enough for the money. I understand you bravely, you fought bravely to protect Lady Lilara from poison thing. For your gallant services, there is, you deserve all the riches in the world fault. 
Alas, a small token of my gratitude is the best I can offer. Hmm, a sarcastic man with a strange contraption strapped to his shoulder. I see you met Pancred. He's a scholar who spends his days investigating oddities in the ether. I was too fond of the sound of his own voice for my liking, but perfectly harmless. As for you, no money, but just the sort of adventure we need around here. I pray you show the same kindness to the people of Fanaland as you did to us today. Right, um, there's uh, the the tower. An adventure, yes. If you're not otherwise occupied, I have a favor to ask. I've resolved to repay, I've resolved to repay a debt of gratitude which I owe to the owner of the copper in coffin. For this purpose, I purchased from the royal plantation a potentially plump pumpkin, a particularly popular piece of produce. Alas, I cannot part this place for pure and proper to pumpkin, you see. A scheduled shipment from the nano uh, mines for, what, for which my way is late. I will prevail upon you to pick up the pumpkin in my stead and see it safely to the copper and coffin. Present the receipt of the purchase to Yugari and the royal plantations and she will yield it to you. I apologise for asking you to attend to this time consuming task but I truly appreciate your assistance. Okay, uh, that requires a level 6, so I'm going to go back to the of the null, back to the plaza, and the gladiator is um, guild. So I probably could, I'm going to set it at a time point anyway. Uh, everything uh, great field. Ah, no money. I take it you and your sword have become better acquainted. And I will now instruct you on another fundamental aspect of what it means to be a gladiator, commanding an opponent's attention. As gladiators, we are trained to engage enemies in close range, whether in their attacks as we deliver our own. However, there are times when we must do battle alongside allies whose talents are not the same as them. In such a situation, your role is to, is not to play the enemy in front of you, but rather to defend the man beside you. We do this by eliciting the enmity of our opponents through attack and techniques designed to incite their hatred. You must learn to draw the enemy's attention to yourself and to trust in your stout constitution to endure. In so doing, you, you protect the weaker comrades you would otherwise carry. To help you better understand this, there is a task I would have you perform. It just so happens that Mamodi of the Quitstand has requested our assistance. A gang of Luminousan marauders have paraded into town and begun harassing people outside their establishment. Men like these prey on the weak, but will turn tail and flee at the first sign of defiance. We need not resort to violence, it will suffice to show them that you are not afraid of them and will not tolerate their behaviour. 
Seek out the Luminsons and make a presence known by bellowing Trace Me Rolder. In this way, you will protect the people of Boulder as you wish your allies in battle. Okay. You know, your friend here as well as damned feet means he can charge us more because we are foreigners, but he will, will get his own back. Mark my words. Oh yeah, come on now. They were disrespecting me, Power of Seawall. There it is. Fine, I'll leave the bastard be, but we ain't finished. The elves is your problem. Maybe she likes uh, men rough. What she was supposed to be, a brilliant lady in waiting? Bah, uh, it don't matter, you've gone and spoiled the mood. Oh. Poor lady. There. Uh, Any in here? What? You blame me because this little chart that is his own pen? Well, bugger. I'm in bugger to you too. Aww. Nah, this one as well. Just who the hell do you think you're speaking to, mate? I'm Petromal, the driven, the driving, and me and me, blood and has been rearing so long. Mother scare the children with powers about us. Don't believe my words, then I'll let me ask to the talking. Oh, this is lovely. Even for the quick sound, you two going to put on a show for us? What's this? Another goddamn fall? Show some respect when you talk to it. Perform all the driving, leader of a troop of bloody mummers, or some such. I heard you the first time. Your voice carries quite well. Then, unless you want me to split your skull with me ass, you better. That that sword, it can't be, Frenzy. Bearing the sword of Nord with bloody hills. Issue. You know, I've never been one to stand back on. Mind if I join the fun? B -b begging your pardon, sir? <laughs> Why do they always do that? 
Looks like it's just you and me. Saying not to let Dumbledore was quite brave for you and quite foolish. I think I like you, Gladiator. Name's Aldis. I'm gonna buy you a drink. But I'm afraid I've just spent the last of my coin. I used to be a long, young gladiator like you. Back then, I. Uh, but that hardly concerns you. These days, I'm just an explorer of an unexplored. a seeker of as yet unknown experiences. Like that beautiful stranger keeping my bedroom right now. Gods, I've missed this city. This wonderful desert jewel of difficulty and sin. Now, if you excuse me. Okay. Switch to Mamodi. I swear, if I hadn't seen Aldous with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it was him. Everyone here thought he died years ago. Listen, the money. Do me a favour and don't tell Myla about me and all this, alright? She doesn't need this sort of drama. Why? Well... Let's just say some folk ain't good for one another. So I'm guessing they were together at some point. I've already heard of your exploits at the quicksand for money. You did well to send those mortars packing. I wish I could say you played the last of them. Alas, we received reports of acts and raiders assaulting merchants preparing for a scorpion crossing. It seems words will not suffice after all. I want you to finish what you've begun for money. Head to the western fanland and see that the formal the driving and all those who have shared in these crimes never travel to people of Aldar again. Okay. Central. There's Western, so that be yeah, of the corner. They told me from my side of one, say if you know, bring my goods back to me, I'll beg of you.
Okay, you told me from what side was taping on. I've already done that. Okay. So bless you, adventurer. If it weren't for you, for a girl for me like you, I'd never leave home. Now, time to report back to Myla. Probably gonna go through my email on there, um, or offline. Very good, it's finished. And with that, this stage of your training is complete. This time, your enemies were ill to behave ruthians, but who knows what manner of friends you can face in the future. Regardless, I have faith that you will do well. Master your sword, and you shall master yourself. Now then, there will be work for you in the days to come. Return to your training, the money. We will speak again. So I have options to either do not have, you don't have a headpiece or weights and then get, get out of the choice at all. Okay. Uh, wait, that's a headpiece. Grab that. Get the new sword. Really, I was going for that. So, time to continue with the main story. Also, do these as well. That's in Central. Central Central. That's on Horizon Bed. So, that'll be done later. Yes, yeah, so, so the 
doesn't come for in sewing, this spectacular specimen shall sadly be past its prime. Oh, so you are to deliver this decadent delight? I can say with confidence that any government will be grateful for such a grand gift. Here is the pumpkin. I hope it meets with Roger's approval. The fresh produce is somewhat scarce in these parts, and as such, we are always deluged with demand. You know the way to the copper and coffin, correct? It is beyond the bridge to the north place. A little old place where local labourers lounge. Okay. Being through your lassie, you won't get better at owls or spirits for your coin than at me place. What's that? We says I'd uh, ask you to bring this here to me. Eh, eh. So even that foul mouth junk knows the mean of remorse. Reckon this is for the time I carried his drink, flying ass back home. But hell's an honest to God's pumpkin from the royal plantations. I can't wait to see what the kids will do with her. The lads here scoffed down beastly amounts of meat, and it's time to tell them on their health it'll be good to get more vegetables in their bellies, to see when I can get the stolen bastards to try something new. Thanks for the help, Bassie. You're welcome. Right now level 9 Ooh, yeah, Mustard heads That's an option Right, I don't really don't want that Now that, let's see If you're just gonna stand around your thumb up your ass I can give you something to do Thanks to me, I'm be unbelievably low prices No sort of of customers here at a cup and coffin, but by the same token, I can afford to pay them much help. They are chronically unstaffed. What's more, there's those lazy yards type who refuse to come and order at the counter. It'd be great help if you attend these customers for me. Mark their orders on these here slip, then bring them over. Room here, oh, and don't forget about all the other ones outside. The strongest front wine you've got, I need to help to forget. Guys, I'm starving, bring me out, real dodo, and smoke shrew loaf, and make it quick. Business is good, too good. Even I need to get the time to take a piss, let alone eat. The metal of the coffins kicking makes more metal water. The fire bows balls, I'm spent. Grill dodo and a tankard of out. Yeah. yeah, here I am spending on what mega coin I got at the coffin. It ain't my fault, I'll tell you. You do the same thing if your wife served up quite everything. Day. What the? 
Oh dear. We're just new Aaron go, are you? Well then, I'll keep it simple for your sake. A tankard of your fine sow, chilled with an ice shard. <laughs> There's nothing like a tall dream to help one forget about the trifling things in life, like work. That's all the orders then? Yes sir. Let's see here. Owl, friend wine, your dodo. And for the ad for dolphins, let me guess. One thank you to Val. Right? Bleeding him minus that one. I'll put me boot up his ass. Anyway, you did good, Lassie. By way of thanks, I'm gonna tell you something out to prove to your profit. Word is black brush stations saw the underman man, underman. The stone torches there can't get a moment's peace. It don't help none that the antlings be not flying like it's nobody's business. For every critter or in an, and his crew put down two more of the buggers to spawn its place. I was thinking mayhap you can make yourself useful at the station by Got in some antlings. I don't doubt Warren would appreciate the help. And if you win his trust, he's like to have more work for you. Mind you, you will need to show the man proof of deeds. Five or so antling mandibles are to do the talking for you. What? You say you put down some matlings? You are scarce the first to come here and make that claim. Having to earn crit coin? Unless you have proof of this feat, you will not see a single cure from me. Powers balls. Are those antling matabills? Then it's true. You really called the beast. I apologize for doubting your words. If I done old nearby, you think we were out of home previous standings have been more active than ever. We can never have too many able bodied defenders to help us the peace in the area. If you will lend us your aid, I should be glad to assign you a task. Because no we have no short them here. Obviously. Mm. 
Damn. Nah. Um. Uh, so I finally got that. What I'll do is put it on. stream here, uh, be streaming Final Fantasy 14 again tomorrow, um, probably about the same time, maybe, yeah, about the same time, so let's see who we can raid. Alright, uh, Jen Ray. He's currently playing on Pokemon Emerald. So, hey guys. <laughs> 